What's up guys, back here for the next part of this box truck build and today uh, plans are pretty basic. We need to get the driver's side electric uh, Chevy seat in here. We need to take care of a few last things under the hood and uh, just keep dynamiting the crap out of the cabin. Uh, my buddy Danny, who I'm kind of like going halfsies with on these projects, our project, uh, is gonna be by here a little later today and we're gonna start taking measurements and stuff for all the construction work we need to do in the back. Uh, so that's pretty exciting so but first we got to get this uh, Chevy power seat in okay so not exactly rocket science you got one motor right here that controls uh, the forward back motion and you got two motors right here that control up and down in the front and rear um, off of this harness but the big orange is positive the big black is uh, is negative and we're gonna use uh, is that the difference between this bracket and the bracket in the truck is so small meaning that the bracket in the truck really only needs to space maybe like four inches so I think we're gonna end up building a, a whole custom seat mount on this side altogether rather than trying to modify uh, the seat mount from the other side Welded together this monstrosity for the driver's seat. Uh, it's kind of goofy looking because of uh, of how we had to make everything fit, but we had to build it all from scratch. But it's actually really quite sturdy. So one more coat of paint, and then this thing's going in there. Today we're out here at the uh, storage place to take advantage of one of my absolute all-time favorite rules: Max Rule Number 497.2. If you're gonna make a mess. Do it in someone else's driveway. So we're gonna come in here today uh, before I bring this thing home to work on it. And we are going to attempt to replace this coolant filter on this side and the uh, fuel filter on the other side. So this engine's completely cold. It's been sitting since yesterday. So hopefully we can take this off and do it with a minimum amount of mess. But based on the way everything is around here, all these guys work on their, uh, they all work on their like uh, big rig diesels here. So I assume it's okay to just like spill shit on the ground. So hopefully this won't be too bad. <laughs> damn that is our coolant filter I end up having to use a chisel uh, to bust it out because it was so so rusted and such garbage that was just absolutely miserable well it only took a three pound sledge and a chisel but uh, got a new filter in and as you can see all of that is probably like three three and a half gallons of coolant down there and that's why you always want to do stuff like this somebody else's driveway well this disgusting mess is a lot less disgusting than it was a few minutes ago what we're gonna do is we're gonna just clean everything up and I'm gonna put down a nice thick layer of dynamat uh, everywhere that I can and then we'll roll this side back over and then go and do the other side the other cool thing is I took the uh, the dog housing off to get all this open uh, and it looks like maybe that this is the right way of getting that uh, that fuel filter off because you can get to it a lot easier from in here so I don't know if I want to tackle that today or not but uh, it's definitely a good piece of knowledge to know. And normally you want it to be immaculate before you put down the sound editing material. But this is going on the floor and then we're putting a cover on it and gravity is going to help us out. Uh, this is about as good as I'm, I'm willing to make it. So now I'm going to just roll out the dynamat. Well, one side is done. Now we can flop this nasty piece of shit back over. 
uh, and go to town on the other side. What's up, guys? I'm gonna close out this episode with a little uh, little vloggy type thingy. I want to apologize for kind of the uh, the lack of uh, content in this video. It's a real quick video uh, because I had to uh, had to really put some work in, and so I didn't have as much time to film. And I know it's kind of a shitty excuse from a guy who runs a YouTube channel, but uh, it is what it is. So to kind of catch you guys up, uh, we've basically dynamited the whole cab at this point. Uh, even with the window open, it makes a huge amount of difference, the amount of noise that was in this cabin uh, from before before we did all of this. So it was definitely a worthwhile exercise. We've got the new uh, GM truck seats in. Um, they're a fuck ton more comfortable than the OEM seats were. Like in these seats, I could actually drive 2,000 miles or whatever if I needed to, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. I wouldn't show up feeling like wanted to take my own life uh which is good usually when you arrive at a music festival you don't want to feel like you want to kill yourself so then today i got the coolant filter replaced that was a huge pain in the ass basically uh did a coolant flush as well because i dumped uh almost five gallons worth of fluid on the ground because she uh she took three gallons of concentrated coolant and another two gallons of uh di water um, and that's that's the uh, lesson that people need to learn right there is you really want to use deionized water Otherwise your filters and shit are gonna rust and then it sucks getting them off so By the time that you guys are watching this it's probably gonna already be November uh, But for me October has just been a crazy month I've been traveling a lot for uh, for music festivals and stuff and and uh, work's been kind of like hectic and so I haven't really had a lot of time to commit to projects. A lot of the videos that you're watching, you watch through October, were filmed well before, like from September and stuff. And uh, I just had them backlogged, and so I've been I've been spoon feeding you guys uh, the best I can, make sure there's uh, weekly content. But as we move into November, I'm gonna go ahead and put a put a uh, time out, put a hiatus on uh, a lot of my uh, partying and stuff like that. And we're gonna take some vacation time and and really, really put the hammer down on these projects. Uh, we've mostly been working in the cab. I still need to put a sound system in this thing uh, and a few other things, but really I wanna get started on the base box, box part of the project where we, uh, we start building out the inside. I got a floor plan that is uh, basically finalized for all intents and purposes um, that I'm really happy with. Uh, and so I'm gonna show you guys that in a later video but I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna just basically start framing stuff out. Hopefully uh, build a little stuff with a little weld, aluminum welding experience, uh, a lot of wood stuff, uh, obviously framing out walls, running electrical. Uh, and so the big, the big money spending is, is coming here really soon, probably starting with the next episode. We're gonna uh, start working on the back of the truck. I'm really excited. I've never really built anything of this scale before or this magnitude before. So it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a daunting process, even for somebody like me. And uh, I'm glad you guys are part of the journey. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm Max. This is MaxWorks. Peace.